Yo, what's going on guys? I'm going to show you how to dominate on some Callista top lane. We have Lethal Tempo, we're starting with Doran's Blade, and we're going to start with our E. I don't think this is a kill. Even if I flash auto attack, ignite E, I don't think that would pinch him off. Callista's damage early is kind of low. Need to get multiple auto attacks into them normally. For our Black Spear, we'll put it on our jungler. We'll put it on him there. If you are going to be playing Callista top, mid, or just anywhere except for bot lane, you do want to put it on your jungler. It's the best spot to put it. Callista top plays best against melee champions. Don't play her against range champs top. Her very best matchup in the game is against Garen and Trindamir. Trindamir can't slow you because you can dash away from him, but you're still looking at him. So Trindamir can literally never land his slow on you, which is really good. And uh, Garen can't get to you because of your slows and jumps as well. Orn's not as good of a matchup because he can close distance on me. So we'll see how this goes. We could have gotten away with an exhaust, I think. We'll see. Okay, quick auto down on him. Proc our lethal tempo. In with an E. Yeah, we have the wave pushing. It's generally what happens is you set up your Ren stacks, you'll end up shoving the wave early. Happens. We're gonna hard shove it now. We wanna reset this. Just make sure your Ren stack actually kills something. That way you get full reset on it. I can't break the turret. When it's pre five minutes, it's a pain in the ass. Top and mid. Ivan's probably already taken his red buff, I'd imagine. No, he hasn't. She should be here. I don't know what kind of jank ass route he ran. Got him. Got him, boys. If an enemy jungler's picking something like Ivern, it farms really low HP early. If they're playing an off-meta jungler like Twitch, you can do that as well, since you're going to be shoving wave early. I'll just proc my E on him. I have double buffs. Orn's going to have to come back to lane and have a fat freeze on him. This game's over, dude. We got him now. Saw your face reveal on Twitter. You look like a man. I, I haven't done a face reveal on Twitter, though. What's going on here? There's an imposter. I'm trying to freeze this. Red buff will heal us back, even though we're taking this insane damage. Okay, yeah, we are taking way too much damage. Yeah, he just killed himself though. I don't think we can freeze it from here. Our wave's gonna reinforce first, so we'll just shove it. If you're trying to shove, you normally just stand still. You auto attack 33% fast. I say I should say you attack 33% slower when you're moving while autoing on a Callista. Let's shove this out. We just missed cannon minion. Tragic. Orange just killed himself. Yup. If you're at a position like that on a melee champion, Clista can punish it. We just messed up that Ren stack. If your Q does kill something, it transfers the Ren stacks into the next thing that it hits. You can set that up, particularly against melee champions top. It's really useful if you're against jungle monsters too. You could put like 20 Ren stacks on something. Finish it with a Q, and whatever your Q hits, whether it's a champion, you'll have all your E stacks in them. You can pull off some cheesy nonsense with that. First item rush, uh, I'll probably just go Berserker Greaves. I'll go Berserkers into some life still. I can't quite afford the life still, so we'll get back in the lane. If it's a something like Trindamir, Pantheon, any kind of real AD top laner who can force all ins on you, Irelia, you're gonna wanna rush down plated steel caps, their brain dead OP over tune. 
if, it, if you're really far ahead or if it's an easy matchup, kind of like a tank top laner, then you're typically going to go for the Berserker Greaves, especially if you have the uh, Lethal Tempo. I think he's suicide on me. I don't think he knows how this matchup works, especially once Kalista gets ahead on you. It's not going to be good for anyone. Yep, it's kind of like that. Use your Q as a auto attack resetter. We got one rent stack on the minion, and then we proc'd our slow. The one stack we got on the minion before we rended made a huge difference there. If you don't land your slow on them, if, like if, basically if you're chasing them and they're not slowed, you can only get off so many autos. But if you can slow them and not put your rend on cooldown, then you're good to go. His flash is probably about to be back up. I'm really low. I need to get out of here. I don't know where Ivern is. This is really risky at this point. I assume Ivern AF... Wait, he actually didn't AFK. He's level 4. He can come get me though. I have tier 2 boots. It might be hard. Some Ivern builds rush down boots. Others don't. I did not think I was in range for that at all. I did not think his uh, thing would knock me up there. I thought I was on the outside. I was going to stand still for the faster auto attack speed, but it's whatever. Yeah, I just killed myself. Oh, well. Oh, well, guys. I agreed. I shouldn't have still been there. It was way too easy for Ivern to gank it. Don't do not do that. If you blow half health on Clista, just back. You don't know If you don't know where the enemy jungler is, super greedy of me. Pick up some life still. Once you have life still, you can stay in lane for longer. For example, if we had a Vampiric Scepter, we would have been full HP. Now we can kind of perma stay in lane as long as we have more items than our enemy top laner. Luckily, our top laner didn't get the kill. So we still have a massive gold lead on the Orn in terms of CS and kills. So there is a fed Ivern running around now. We'll still be able to crush this guy. Get the shoving in. Looks like Ivern's mid is gonna cause some issues. I think Ivern's gonna come back top. That's why Orn's walking the long way around. I think I'm dead. I can't get away from them. The Ivern slows are too big. Oh, that's tough. That is a tough titty. I could have gotten over this thin wall potentially, but there's just too many. It's one of the ultimate downsides to Callista top is if you are going to be playing up and aggressive, then they can shut you down for it. I should have just pulled off. I've been being really aggressive on Orn, but the thing is, we don't have the type of... TF can't... It's not like a Syndra where you can get as much pressure. TF early game is a little bit submissive. <laughs> so, yep. We're going to have to just watch the minimap a little bit tighter here because we're getting brutalized. And he has a Bramble Vest now. That's going to be a bitch to deal with. If it was only just Ivern and Orn, I think I could have killed them, but Anivia too. Too many slows. Just chopping up my movement speed too much. Yeah, Ivern's gonna come back top. I already know Ivern's gonna be here. 
I want him to dash on me so I can outplay him like that. Cool, I just killed myself again. Well, at least I got that little bugger Ivern. I was trying to kite it back into the wall, but my attack speed just isn't fast enough yet. Oh well. I'll play 1v2 top lane as long as I can trade one for one, it's whatever. Ivern's so annoying. He landed his snare on me from the bush. <laughs> I kind of jumped into it, but I didn't know he was there. I'm going to have to buy a pink. Orn's having a fun time top, though. <laughs> He's just playing 1v2. Him and Ivern both Q top lane. I kind of, what I want to do now, I want to shove wave, leave, get a deep wards in Ivern's jungle, and then when Ivern comes to gank me, I'm going to just break his neck. We got to cut him in half when he comes in for that gank. Ivern and uh, Orn have so much CC that I can't get away from them once they're on me together. So that's what we're going to go do. I don't know if that's warded. Oh, what do you know? We have this little skank. He's coming back top lane for the 50th time. Who would have guessed? Nice. Got his flash. I think I got Ivern flash. Got Ivern ult. Got Orn ult. Got it all, baby. Come at me, bro. I'll play 1v2 top lane. Back in season 1 over here. I need to heal up, though. I'm really, really low. Yeah, what's going on, Black Raptor? I got to heal up off of something, though. Gromp's a really good heal tool. The lower you are, the more it gives. Standing still, you get faster attack speed. There we go. Gotta go defend that turret. Looks like Ivern finally isn't top lane for the first time in this game. His bot side, getting blue buff. I'm gonna go kill Ivern on his red buff. I'm sick of him. If you're ever getting camped this hard and you are still ahead, just pick off them. Like, I have to intercept, essentially. I gotta fight before Ivern gets here. Go kill him on his red buff. This is probably pinked. Nope. I saw my pink over here still. I'm gonna pull it as close to this as I can for my escape route. Where's Ivern at, dude? Oh, Ivern's bot side. That's awkward. I was gonna kill Ivern when he came over here, but it's not over here. How did that hit me? I don't know. I almost got over this wall right here. If I would have done my Q a little cleaner, I could have been able to get over the small part of it. I need more attack speed or more life still, either one. How much does Bork give? 12? This gives 20. That's a huge diff. Might just go for Bloodthirster, honestly. That life still diff is huge, huge, huge. Or I could just go Phantom Dancer. Phantom Dancer is extremely inexpensive for a lot of... Uh, attack speed. It's 80% attack speed when I'm in these nasty fights.
Got to play around the winning lane, though. The more time we spend bot, we lose huge resources top. Nice, I missed cannon. That's what I like to see. Come on, Ivern, come back top, baby. I need to get value top before their bot lane. Once the enemy bot lane gets our turret, they're gonna rotate to us. Oh, where are you, Ivern? Where's Ivern? Where is he, Orn? Where's your Ivern, dude? Looks like he's having to fight Set. Set's gonna get himself killed though, he's over chasing. When Orn goes in for the plane, he's like, wait a minute, where's my jungler? Pog champ. Yo, Taco, thank you for the 100 bits. Pog champ indeed. You're dead. Run, boy, we'll run. Run, run. Nice, nice, nice. I canceled my auto attacks on Ivern. I wanted him to squirm a little bit. Holy crap. Orange damage is kind of insane. Yeah, that Bramble Vest is absolutely killing me. I would have killed Orn there, but I could tell I was losing more HP than I was gaining back. Even if we killed him, I would have 100% died for it is the problem. Like, I understand why Set wanted that, but the Bramble was gutting me hard. Watch this. That just, wait, that, did that not put the, it didn't look, it looked like it bugged out. That should have put all the stacks into Herald. I think it did. Maybe I only had a few stacks. I should have put all of them into it, but I might have only had like six on the scuttle to begin with. I have a big wave top to collect. Yeah, they're not really playing top side anymore. Orn's bot. I'm surprised my bot lane's still bot. They don't have turret. It's really hard to play from behind when your turret's missing. You have nothing to run back to. No one wants to come fight me. Orn's bot, they're gonna lose turret for this. Mm. I wanted Ivern to walk this way and I was gonna put the big golem Ren stacks through him with my Q. He didn't walk that way. Oh, I didn't go over it. Damn. Pretty sure I can go over that one. It can be kind of hard to land sometimes. They actually got the red buff. That's so tragic. That is so tragic. I gotta back and spend my gold. Oh well. If we can get full phantom off that, we can get bloodthirster as well. Mm. Probably set needs to get black cleaver at some point to shred their armor for me. That would make this a lot easier. Oh, I was gonna give that to Sat. I guess he didn't want it. 
just trying to get the camp low for him. And the enemies are just playing really far back. This is probably awarded. Nice Q and Ivia. <laughs> She's walling me off solo with her R. Bye bye, Daisy. That's no fun. That is no fun. Ash makes me very sad. You can't move when she's hitting you. I'm gonna get Executioners. They have a lot of healing off the Ash. They'll have some off the Ivern here too. Maybe I should just go for Armor Pen for now actually. Can I afford it? I, don't, I almost forget what they call it. I can't afford it. I'll just get this for now. Is Callista a hard champion to play? Yeah, she has a learning curve. You gotta learn how to kite on her in training tool. It will take you about a week. If you spend 30 minutes a day for a week playing her in training tool, you should be able to get her down pretty well. Slows are Callista's biggest problem. Whether it's a movement speed slow or an attack speed slow, that slows down her dashes dramatically. Either or. And if it's both, then that's very bad. That is painful. Like the Nasus Wither. Oof. playing really far up on me we can win the fight but I'm kind of by myself we're all over there for whatever reason we need to get on the ash is what we need yeah, the ash is just such a hack yes yes Awesome. I hate Ash so much. Oh, that was our Penta, shit. Ash was playing hard to get. We're taking a lot of deaths for it, unfortunate. Suspense07, thank you for the gifted sub, man. Do you think you can get as good as me by only playing against intermediate bots? Uh, you can improve your mechanics against bots, but I think you can only get so good playing against intermediate bots. At some point you have, if you, well, only if you want to get really good, at some point you have to play against people. Intermediate bots will only take you so far, at least with how poorly coded they are now they have a lot of exploits to just kill them over and over moves that don't really work against humans all right we got qss we're ready to go I'm gonna carry this game when i are preferably set gets on ash ash is the one who screws me over I'm going to get my QSS in the right spot. Yeah, they're just hiding in bushes. They're waiting for something to happen. Got him. I can't move. I can't move. <laughs> oh boy. I wish I had a thin wall to go over there. I was snared and CC'd Ash Ard. 
the whole shebang. And I wasted my QSS. I QSS when Orn had me knocked up. Damn. Tough fight. When do we normally stream? Yeah, Monday through Friday. This is just a bonus stream. I, I might just split, honestly. We're having a lot of troubles in team fights. We're full build. We're not going to get much stronger than this. <laughs> How long do I usually spend in practice tool? Not long. I don't even do it every time. If I'm going to stream, I do a hand warmer. I'll spend five or eight minutes in there with lethal tempo, practicing 2.5 plus attack speed on like Kogma or Ash, or even Tristana. I used to practice Tristana more in the practice tool before I had her down. I'm pretty comfortable on her now though. That still knocked me up. That is disgusting. Yeah, die, you rat. Get, get Ash. No. No. Ash is such a gross champ. We had Mercurial Skimitar is how we killed the Ivern. He hit us with Snare, but we immediately used our... Mercurial got out, killed him. Yeah, I don't know. That fight was a 4v5. We need a five man fight. If, if it, literally anyone sees, sees Ash, if literally anyone sees, sees Ash, we win the fight. No joke. Oof. Like my full build's gonna start to fall off because everyone's gonna have full build here pretty soon. Ash is the only one who fucks me. She hits me with one movement speed slow and it cuts my jump attack speed by like half. Yep, there she is. Get her. Nice. All right, not bad. Well played. Set got some big value there. If I would have kited that better, I think I could have gotten the Nivea too. He hit both of us with that. That's not good. Well played. Not bad at all. Well played. Ash is going to hit me with a fat R. I can already feel it. Yeah, I hit that bitch back. Oh, I can't fight them both at once. <laughs> I thought I could with my life still. Not quite. I even QSS the Ashar, but Twitch alone, he ignited me. That kind of screwed it. I cut my healing in half. Ash doesn't have any. Ooh, she has. She has heal cut too. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. That was really bad. I don't think I need Navarion, Kali. I think I need to save my boots, honestly. Just upgrade my thing right here. Then we're good to go. Selling boots is tough because these lose movement speed range. That's tough. As long as sets close enough for me to ult him, I can ult him into Ash. Oh, 
wait for me. I'm kind of on the wrong side here. Why are we this way? Go around. I can pop in. Oops. <laughs> I was trying to go in and drag set with me. Ash is just going to keep being a rat. He actually flashed. Oh, that's funny. Yep. Clista Raw ult. Really good if your uh, jungler is ready for it. Well played, guys. If you guys enjoyed this Callista video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And feel free to come chat and chill live on stream. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.